Iceland's volcanic eruptions, caused by accumulating magma, are expected to continue for centuries to come. Experiencing a volcanic eruption is a powerful force of nature. If you want to see it for yourself, Iceland is the place to do it. Since 2021, seven eruptions have occurred along the Reykjanes Peninsula, near Reykjavik. Iceland's recent eruptions have caught the attention of Earth scientists like me. They are helping us understand how volcanoes work in great detail. My team has been sampling lava that has erupted from the Reykjanes Peninsula and has found some interesting results. One of our findings suggests that magma from the first eruption pooled just beneath the island's surface, where it gathered energy to erupt spectacularly. This initial volcanism made it easier for subsequent eruptions to follow. After about 800 years without a volcanic eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula, the Fagradalsfjell volcano erupted again on March 19, 2021. Then, two more volcanic eruptions occurred at Fagradalsfjell in 2022 and 2023. Furthermore, four more eruptions occurred west of the Sundnakor rift system in 2023 and 2024. While these eruptions provide a spectacular spectacle, they also have the power to wreak havoc. The recent Sundnikor eruption threatened the fishing town of Grindavik, the geothermal power plant at Svartsengi, and Iceland's top tourist destination, the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa. Lava erupted within the town limits of Grindavik, and only a man-made dike prevented further damage. Iceland is a unique place on Earth. Iceland is part of a chain of large submerged volcanoes in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, with Iceland exposed above sea level. This chain of volcanoes is known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and it plays a key role in plate tectonics. Plate tectonics describes how the large, rigid plates that make up the Earth's crust slide past, into, and beneath each other. Their behavior slowly reshapes the Earth's surface. In some places, the plates collide to form mountain ranges such as the Himalayas. In other places, one plate slides beneath another, creating volcanoes and earthquakes, such as in Japan. At the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which stretches between the South Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean, the plates are moving apart, allowing molten magma to flow out. This magma solidifies into volcanic crust and creates new parts of the tectonic plate. A floating ridge that rises from deep within the Earth and intersects the Mid-Atlantic Ridge beneath Iceland. This ridge, along with several other similar ridges in the Central and South Atlantic, may have triggered the formation of the Atlantic Ocean Basin more than 200 million years ago. The tectonic plates associated with the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and the hot rocky plume beneath Iceland together form Iceland's volcanoes.